jump. There it is. I'm proud of you. I love you. Oh, my finger. The most terrible thing that could have ever happened is that I found drop eye right here on the floor. Causing havoc, guys. A lot of havoc. In three, three, two, one. What else, Lairs? Fear not, for I am still alive. I have been sick for some time. I am not feeling well. But I will vlog. For that is what I do for my fans and my friends. I will vlog the status of my fish. For they too have been sick. A terrible thing has happened to my fish as well. For they are sick as well. I'm not making any sense. But let's just go downstairs and I'll show you what's going on. The most terrible thing that could have ever happened. A bacterial bloom. Look. Look at what's going on. My poor fish, the paku. The clam. The red tail. Drop by the arowana. This is so sad. So, as you know, this is very bad. My beneficial bacteria colony has diminished. This all happened to one of the drastic water changes I did because I ended up overfeeding my fish. All those feeders. Two days of straight feeders. I am very sad. I am not thrilled for what has happened. But, what I've decided to do is show a video on how to clear your tank because I know how I can do this I know how and I got the proper things the proper mechanics the proper everything I can figure this out it is not that bad but first we will figure out how to clear this I'm sorry my children forgive me for I have sinned but this video won't be completely sad because we have our friend hello friend how are you what's up dude over here. Okay, hey, hey. We're gonna go ahead and feed him something. We're gonna feed him some blood work. Here's some on my finger. Jump, my child. One more time. Jump. Jump. There it is. I'm proud of you. I love you. Oh, my finger. Well, there's the happiness for the day. So, first thing we do is go to the local pet store and get certain supplies that we may need. Okay, we're back at the house from the pet store, and it's a different day, but it's the same day that I recorded this part of the vlog. We received our cool things. We got our python, which I'll open in a second. Then we also have the Aqua Clear activated carbon that we will change for our Fluval Aqua Clear filters and something new, crystal clear, out of the glare, magnum polishing canister filter that will go inside my tank right in that corner so that should help with the clarity that should help with anything we will be doing a 20 to 30 percent water change to go ahead and help assist with the fast recovery of our tank so we're going to be learning together but i've done research i've seen it on people's tanks i like it i want it for my tank because i'm tired of little specks around and i just want to make sure that this is clear like you don't have to use this the whole time it's only temporary but some people use it all the time in their tanks. And here is a beautiful python system, 25 feet to clean my aquarium and make sure that everything gets done in a nice speedy process, but yet safe for our fish. I want to show you guys the before, like a before and after so we can go ahead and get back to having a lot of fun and super, super, super cool feats. So instead of boring you with all the complete, complete details, I'm just going to summarize everything. The goal is to have an established aquarium, to have a lot of fun, to have a lot of cool fish, watch them feed, but don't overfeed them, whether it's your fish, your plants, etc. Because what ends up happening is there are things that get stuck up in the su substrate, meaning like the sand, stuff that gets stuck up there, stuff, stuff floats around like so, which you got to go ahead and clean, clean and siphon around. Like, look at that. It's complete. It's blue on top, lighter in the middle, super yellow. And then a weird color on the bottom, like that is just not tasting the rainbow here, guys. So, the goal is, you just gotta wait it out, but you can expedite it somehow, some way, sometimes. By adding those products I said before, you add your bacteria, you do a couple water changes, you just gotta let it work its way out. It takes, it takes some time. You know, I've, I've read three to 14 days. I've seen some people have also say three weeks. I don't know how long this is gonna take. 
But what I do hope is that it's as fast as possible with my little regimen that I think is going to personally work. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start by cleaning our filters. Look at this. This is insane. Look how dirty this is. This is insane. So clean your sponges. I've done it already twice because of what's gone on. There's a lot of gunk that shows up during these blooms. So make sure you clean your sponges to go ahead and, and expedite that process. All right, guys, so you can see here is my sponge. No bueno, pretty dirty, not that bad, but instead I'm just gonna go ahead and just use one of the new ones that I have instead and just put that in there. Dang it, I drop this every time. All right, guys, we're back. We clean those filters, they're all good. And I got this cool little guy ready to go. But I won't be able to put him in until obviously we do our water change. So the next move is to go ahead and do our water change. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, bro? I love him. I love you, bro. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change the water right now and then we'll get this going. I'm so excited. Everything should be cleared up. We should be good to go very soon. All right, guys. So now I have my Python set up. Thought the spigots in my house. Actually, I thought the faucets in my house had but now that's gonna run let that puppy run wow that's insane it just sucks up the water just like that so we'll be here for a couple seconds all right and just like that seconds just seconds we already got this out this is cool i recommend it guys you should totally get the python come on focus maybe no there it is all right cool that's what i recommend 100 percent because that was pretty quick I was really fast. It's like maybe three, four minutes. Fastest thing I've ever experienced at all. All right guys, it's time to add the marine filter. I'm excited, I've never used one before, but I've heard nothing but great things. Sorry for the close up. And I take the hoodie off because I get soaked usually, but anyhow. All right, so I'm gonna put this bad boy in here right now. Try to figure out how to do this and record at the same time. Come on, we're Gucci, we're in. Now we just gotta find the right spot. Dude, it's supposed to make everything a lot clearer. I don't like it in the tank, but we'll have it. It'll be like my wave maker, I guess. You may have to eliminate the bubbles. Let me know about the bubbles. I know my mom likes the bubbles, but we'll put this here in the meantime and then switch everything over and we'll turn this puppy on right now. I'm just doing some scrubbing in the meantime, getting this nice white stuff, sorry clown. Get everything all nice and clean now. All right, all right, all right. Put this last thing here. Come right, on, you can do this. Oh, perfect. All right, now we are running. We're back and running. The water should change, hopefully soon. And we'll be back in a few days to check if it's good to go. Check it out. What up, Solaris? It is actually 12:45. So you guys can see 12:45. It's another day. Um, I, I was just filming the part of me dealing with my tank and adding the marine land um, canister and talking about what was going on and I'm not liking what's going on. What happened is that I found drop eye right here on the floor. Found drop eye on the floor. Uh, my phone's going off because I'm trying to figure out what I can do. Um, you sir, you have been ruining drop eye. has been harassing him. Harassing him ever since I put him in the tank and I thought by feeding him a lot He'd be okay. He's actually grown. He, I got him at like almost six, seven inches, and he's almost, I would dare to say ten. He's fat. Look how round he is. So, um, I think I'm going to, to drop him off at Zach's. I catch him on spawn. I'm going to put him catch him on spawn because, guys, what matters is this arrow. This arrow is what matters. Drop by is what matters. I can't have that going on. No one messes with him. The clown chills. The arrow chills. Red tail catfish chills. You know, everyone's chilling, but you, but you, oh, my phone's going off. Hold on, guys. Hello? 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 I'll, I'll text you. I'll text you. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this thing to your place right now, bro. Guys, I'm really pissed off at this Baku. I'm really mad. Everything was okay till I put you in, bro. Everything was fine. It's been weeks, literally weeks since uh, he was in, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not thrilled, I'm tired, I'm frustrated, I've been working on, on this tank, trying to figure out everything with the bloom. Hey guys, I put you on my head, conditioner's already good to go in here. It's kind of chilly, but it's going to be a real quick trip to Ketchumon's place. I'm actually going to leave this open, 
set the big net there. So, all right, here we go. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Get in here. Paco is in, causing havoc, guys. A lot of havoc. Hard part is it will now completely. In three, three, two, one. All right, he's up. Run, run, run. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. All right, he's in there. Good. Sweet. I'm gonna dry everything up, guys. I hope you saw it. I hope I got it. But we're going to catch him all this place. We'll clean everything up and be on our way. Booyah. Okay, Slayers, it's 201. And if you guys are just checking in, I'm on my way to catch him all this place to go ahead and drop off the buck. And if you don't know what's going on, here's the full story, just real quick. Came down to get some water. I always look at my fish. I heard some flapping. I'm like, what's going on? It sounds like something's out of the water. I run and there is drop by on the floor. Guys, I usually record everything. I wasn't gonna go and run upstairs to get the camera. I cared about my fish. I cared about getting the fish right back inside the tank as fast as possible. And he was already harmed because he obviously jumped. You know, like it looked like give or take probably about six feet. So he took a big hit, hoping he's gonna be okay. I love all my fish, but Mr. Puckers just gotta go. Um, I'm a little frustrated, I'm a little pissed off. You know, it's, it's late, I'm tired, I'm agitated. I'm not feeling well, so. But I'll check in when we're at Catch a Mall Spot. Oh, yeah. So, you doing good, bro? Looks so good. Let's see how, how big he is now. It's big. It's big. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I grab him? I can't grab him. Right, I'm going to need both my hands. So, hopefully, I can get the release. If not, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to go ahead and just let him go. Hold on. Hopefully, we can see you one day in the great beyond. But anyhow, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick trip back to my house to check out how Dropeye is doing. Check it out, will ya? Okay, Slayers made it back home, and Dropeye is still in the tank. Thank God, this is crazy. But we got that marine land canister filter doing its job, pushing a lot, a lot of water around, making sure we go ahead and get this super clear. We got the red tail right here, looking a lot better. It's not too harassed or anything. The water's still still murky. It's really bad. But eventually everything should get super clear. Hopefully, God willing, clowns here chilling, vibing, enjoying itself. Oh man, that was a close one, bro. That was a close one. You can't be doing that kind of stuff. You're scaring me. You can't be scaring me like that. So I vlog everything for you guys because I want to document everything that's going on with our fish. So, but like I said before. Hope you enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do it now. I do some crazy stuff outside of being super sad and doing panicking things like this. But till next time, guys. Booyah.